Alrighty, what's cracking you, Chirp? Matty here for RC Anonymous. We've got the outcast here today, guys, and I'm finally gonna test this guy out um, on 5S. Will it work? Electronics we have inside is a Hobbywing XR8 Plus, it's a Z run, and we're gonna see if it will take 5S. Auto LiPo cutoffs turned off and um, auto lipo vault checking is turned off and whatnot so let's see what's cracking we've also got a, a very sexual 12s rated pav racing cap pack check out speed freak georgie boys awesome thank you very much for this george it is greatly appreciated right so let's see what happens hey Turning it on. There's a good chance we might just get up the road here and uh, it just stops. So I don't know. So we'll just film it and we'll see what happens and if it works. Because I know there was a YouTube video I saw and some guy reckon he was doing speed runs on 5S with this ESC. So that's what made me sort of go, well, can we do 5S? We're as sure as shit about to find out, everybody. I'm just gonna set the camera up this way for extra bitiness. Right, eh? I'm gonna sit here, get my remote. She's bitey. Where you are. Well, it seems to be working. We might have to go do some jumps. Will my brakes up a touch? These are big uh, wheels and tyres, these Proline MX38s. These are absolutely redonkulous. I will say the way I've got this offset with these wheels and tyres is um, the Typhon mod. So the parts, the, the hubs, the uh, axle ends and hexes from an armoured Typhon, a V3 to be precise, have been fitted to this guy just to bring my uh, wheels in a smidge. Oh! Ouch! Why did you do that? Let's try it again. Now I've got tried a backflip, we're going to have to try a backflip. I actually wasn't meaning to try a back foot there. I'm a little bit excited, I've just finished work. So it'll do it. I uh, should turn the punch up a pinch if I want to keep doing this. But I'm um, quite confident right now, this setup will run 5S. Now I should really have an alarm in there, but I don't. Um, this is only going to be a short run today, so I'm not too fussed. Probably running for about 10 minutes. It's stupid hot in beautiful Queensland, Australia. Righto, so let's go over here. I'm not going to use the head cam because I need my hat or I'm going to get sunburnt. And let's do some flips, guys. Alrighty, guys, I'm just going to set up here. And uh, not going to go too big. I won't get it in the camera if I do. But, uh, alright, let's call them. Let's go backy. Oh, sloppy, Matty. Sloppy. Very sloppy, everybody. He's just driving back. I'll keep commentating for you guys. Let's go another backy. Oh. Sloppy again. I'm a bit out of... I'm out of touch with my outcast side, ladies and gents. I've been typhoning it for a bit. Um... There we go, snap that. Should we go a fronty? Now we're getting dangerous. All right, it's just, it's turning around everyone. I'll keep you informed. Oh, it was terrible, but we landed it. All right, so we're over here because it's in the shade and it will save my skin damage. 
problem is I can't see properly here, so I've got to go over here. That was very naughty. The double fronty, I'm getting quite cheeky. You've gotta love these armor vehicles, everyone. They seriously just take epic punishment. They really do. If you're a bad driver like me, it's a beautiful way to get into the hobby. Um, what you don't wanna do is go and buy a a bloody Traxxas vehicle if you're new to the hobby and a bad driver because everything will break. Now I'm not saying the armors are bulletproof. Yes, things can break from time to time, but um, for the most part, this is as solid a vehicle as you're gonna find out there in the RC world. They've done a damn good job, and I like them. I like them a lot, and um, yes, I, I'm just not happy with Traxxas at the moment, everybody. There, I've said it. I don't like that they're suing my armour. That really, really pisses me off. I thought we could all be friends. Well, Traxxas, obviously not. Um, they make out as if they invented cantilever. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, like... They've... Just them coming into the hobby, they copied another RC manufacturer. You know, they, they weren't around since the beginning. And then every other RC manufacturer that's come out ever since is... You know? Copy. And, um... That's that. Enough chit-chat. I'm going to turn it this way. I can no longer see the screen, everyone. So if you can't see anything, at least you get to hear my voice. Oh, just landed that. Jumps pretty nice. It jumps real nice. It's no Typhon, but it jumps. I will say I found strapping your tires the way I do makes them bouncy, right? It makes them nice and bouncy. Well, not nice, but you know. Oh, I've got a stick. No, we've lost the stick. Right, um, I'm gonna go get a different view and I'm getting out of here because this just sucks right now, guys. We'll try that again, alright? We'll try that again and I'm getting out of here. It's hot. I guarantee you my motor's steaming right now. I'm too scared to look at the temp gun. Oh, hold on to it, son. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Oh, another crash. It still drives. It's amazing. It's amazing what happens when you put some time into... R&D, aka research and development, would be amazing if I could put some practice into reversing. That's it. Righto YouTube, enough bullshit, enough carrying on. Hope you're all having a lovely, lovely day and I hope it's not as stupid hot as it is for me over here. That's it, Matt out for RC Anonymous.